Hello fans, I'm back at it again. You asking yourself, what the heck is this contraction is? Oh look, I'll plug this in before I let you keep myself. Alright. Basically, I built a router table. Right? And Yada 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 That's that that's people who hating. You know you gotta have some haters, dog. You ain't popping, you ain't got no haters. Alright? Anyway. Cause I got no haters, I'm always popping. What I wanted to do, I wanted to build a switch mechanism for my router table. Which means when I plug the router to here, I want it to always stay on. But I don't want it to sit there and always turn the switch on. I want it, I mean, always unplug it or turn the switch on the router. I wanted to use a switch to do that so I can get power coming from here, then coming out of here, which powers the router. So basically what I did was, I went around, I found this stuff, which is, I was gonna build one, but I found some pieces and I put it all together. So basically I put this whole thing together, got these switches, so I got multiple outlets that I can use on here, and I got this on and off switch, and I also got a fuse switch on here, so if it blows or if the fuse come out or whatever, I just push this push reset button. So I'll show you how it works. So what I did in the back, was, I got, let me sit right here. Yeah. Again, I'm not an electrician, mate or electrician. I'm a mechanic and I do mechanic stuff and I do a lot of wood work and stuff. So what I did is I got these two switches right here and I joined them from the positive to negative. So basically it's gonna be like in series. You know what's anything about electricity, you know, should know about that. Then I'm going backwards, let me go forward. I got my main switch, which is this was taking the power in, which is this main cord here. I'm gonna make it look clean. I just wanted to test it all out. This is my positive, which is my hotline, and my negative, and my ground. They're going in the solenoid here. From there, they come out of the solenoid, and they go to the actuator switch, which is that on and off switch. That on and off switch has the remote switch, which is this blue little line here, and it has the hot and uh, negative line. You need this to be connected so it gives you the automatic saying, hey, let me turn it on. I guess this is a three phase system, so you need this remote switch on there. So I got the positive and negative going there. From there, they come out and they go to the switch. I'm sorry, the plug. The plug now goes from here to there. I kind of messed up because I was trying to make it just come off here. But again, I ran out of some materials and stuff like that. So whatever, I'm cheap and I don't care. And I just put this from the down up. So that's how that worked. And now I'm gonna show you that it works by using my speakers right here. I wanna use something small because I ain't wanna use something big and mess it up. So I'm gonna plug this in here. Right. Plug that switch in here. Right. And then. Turn on. It should turn this on. Boom. Boom. Oh. There we go. And you're asking yourself, why did you build this for? You do some crazy stuff sometimes. Well, like I said again, this is for the routing table. So when I have my routing table, I can put it separately off the wall, plug my router into this switch right here, and then it'll be automatically on because the way they design around it said you gotta sit there and press the button, hold the button, or do some other kind of stuff and leave it on and unplug it and stuff like that. But again, I don't wanna do all that stuff and unplug it. I want it to always stay plugged, but I wanna control it with the on and off switch. And that's what this is for, on and off switch. So I'm gonna show you when I'm done making it look clean, cause again, this is just a test. When I'm done making it look clean, I'm gonna show you how I put it together on my router, all right? Again, for the haters out there, hate all y'all want to, make some fun. Yada, yada, yada. That's the haters, and like I said, if you don't got no haters, we ain't popping.